Good morning guys, it's Jilly Cube from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I am uh, doing a bit of um, a test, another test today, but hoping it'll come out okay. I've been asked um, because the beautiful artist uh, Rinska that does the Dutch Paws, um, I was told that she just uses paint and water and no other pouring medium and no um, flow troll uh, or, or no flow troll or no silicone so I said well I'll just do a test with what I use which is the uh, the Montmartre studio acrylics so I've just poured my I've just put the paints into my cup so far so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add my tap water and I'm going to do um, a Dutch pour like Rinska and see if um, it comes out well for me. I have never just used the paint and water with no other product in it, I must admit. So it's going to be a new thing for me, but I was asked to try it. So I'm, I'm obviously sure that Rinska uses a completely different paint to what I are using. And I can see already that this paint is not, is going lumpy with just water. That's not going to work for me. So obviously, okay, I'm not going to waste my paint because that's just going chunky. No, it's not going to work for me, but maybe I have to uh, check out what product paint Rinska uses and see if I can get the same product here in Australia and have a go with that but maybe if I keep keep stirring 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 oh it's coming yeah it's coming a bit yet yeah, it's losing the lumps okay there you go so you shouldn't make assumptions before you've really tried Jilly keep trying that's the um, obviously the message here so it all comes lumpy at first but stirring 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 it um, seems to I will just pour the water in and hope for the best in each one then go well this is um, silver metallic so I'm not sure <laughs> that's gone into big chunky um, globules let's hope that I can um, get these chunks out with a bit of stirring 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 and hopefully I can speed up the camera when it comes to editing to um, get you past the stirring stirring Stanley bit so yes the red is definitely that I started off first it's come and it's actually thickened up so oh there you go so there you go it's um, very thin, lumpy, chunky to start with. So let's just see if I can make anything out of this. So it was yeah, just something that somebody had asked if I just use paint and water for um, the Dutch pour, and I haven't. So let's try it. But I'm not sure whether the paint and water would work in things like swipes and. Um, a cup pause because it's I just I'm not sure but then again you shouldn't say should you until you've actually tried yourself or you've watched somebody else do it so So here we go guys, um, 
all the paint is mixed up I just continued stirring 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 uh, and adding the water till I've got quite a runny mix because from what I see for the Dutch pour they're quite runny so I'm just gonna try I'll just try and see how it goes. So that's uh, testing the Montmartre paint just with nothing but water. No silicon, no pouring medium, no nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, I've got my last packet of giant push pins from Capriol Shabby Chic. I wouldn't do without these. They're so great for the bottom of your canvases. Um, I've forgotten to tape the back of this. Yeah, I normally put the masking tape on the back to keep the back of the canvas nice and clean. But I love these push pins. I hit them in with the hammer and then get them out just by wiggling from side to side and pulling them out. But they're great because you've got their nice surface. You haven't got to worry about cups falling over. And I think these definitely are less than $5 for the pack. So they're great. So uh, the online order online ordering is in the link below of Capriol Shabby Chic. I've got my lovely 40 by 40 canvas, Montmartre canvas, and they're really nice canvases pre-gessoed. So I'm all ready to go, I guess. And why do I feel a bit nervous about doing this particular pour? It's crazy, hey? Because it's just water and not pouring medium. I, I don't know why I should feel nervous about it. But there you go. New things can sometimes give you a bit of a uneasy feeling but you know you've just got to ride past that and and just try them out hope for the best push past the fears so I was thinking that maybe I should do half and half so half a uh, white on one side I'm just going to I'm going to just swish it out with my fingers nothing no harm in that don't worry about the edges because you can absolutely finish those at the end so not worrying about my edges so I'll just put a layer of the white remember this is just swamp mark paint white with water and as you've seen it went quite gluggy and uh, bits in it and everything at the beginning but it's come really nice and smooth now so all good so far so so good should I say so this is the black it's, it's quite it's quite runny not oh this one's a little bit thicker than the white but let's just put it on and go for it absolutely fine to use your fingers just get in and it feels good actually to do that I don't mind using my fingers at all for this paintwork it's probably good if you have a sink or a cloth close by so you can wipe off your mucky hands but all good okay that's not good is it <laughs> I'm going to pour the rest of this on. Actually, I, I think I need to add a little bit more water to this black because it's a little bit thicker. So, just giving it a stir. Oh, okay. Let's jump ship and go on over on the uh, white side. Come back over to the dark side, person, people. All right. I'm just going to leave that. like that because I can blow that around it's not too much I'm just going to add a teeny weeny bit of water just water out of my tap which I have filtered water because we're on tank water because we're on a property so I must admit there's nothing gets added to my water um, nothing you know no chlorine or fluoride or things like that I've just got to dip this black hand in um, something to get all that black paint up. All good. Okay, so we'll try the colours now. See how we go. Let's 
suppose you just have to try these things. So I'm going to put, this was the metallic silver, so I'll put metallic silver down here. I'll go the um, crimson, crimson on top. Do some wibbly wobbly bits. I will go the viridian green. This will be interesting, I must admit, to see how this comes out. And the bright yellow on top I'm going to use my hair dryer for this one so let's see what mess I can make and I'll probably blow the paint into next week but you know gotta <laughs> try it up and I okay I might just pour some more of this white so I can Too worried about that because I'll try and blow it to where I want it now. Hopefully I've got my and all my white. Oh, that's nice. Come on out to get more of that red. What have I done? <laughs> oh well. All good. Ooh. Come on, baby. Show me what you got. sure what's happened there. Friday I've made a right dog's dinner of that. I've not done well so I'm gonna put some more colour on to throw some more colour over this black area. So I can get out of the dark side. I might try and blow the silver over the top. I have no idea what I'm doing, so you guys are coming on the ride with me. Let's just give this a go, hey? Oh, what am I doing? That's hot. bit of like yeah like Santa vomited I have got no idea where that went 
where the red went. The red is normally the first one to pop its pop its socks. Maybe I'll just keep playing with it now. Oops! Oh, blimey. Uh, now I've really... I know all you guys that do these Dutch pours are probably screaming out instructions to me, but I'm sorry if I'm absolutely murdering it. <laughs> I'm having fun doing it. Let me get the cool. Oh, that's it. Cool. It's like a bushfire. Looks like something was splattered. Well, I'm not doing very well with these, am I? Um, I mean, paint and water does work if you know what you're doing, obviously. I need practice at this because it's not my normal thing of these Dutch pours. But I suppose, you know, I'm going to put it out there for you guys because you have to see that try to do certain things and they just don't work I'm just doing a little bit of skewer work to bring something into it so it's just this is just a, um, a choppy stick a chopstick it's just a chopstick just to try and salvage this craziness that I've yes it looks like Santa spewed or Definitely looks like a dog's dinner. A mad dog's dinner. Craziness. You know what? You just got to try these things. And I tried because somebody asked me kindly, would I give it a go? So I have tried. But um, I obviously need to master this and actually see what the other Dutch lady does. What is her pouring medium? If, if it's disclosed, I'm not sure. But, yeah, that looks a bit crazy. <laughs> the funny thing about it is I know that this would actually sell well. I've seen some really crazy things that you think, oh, that's a bit special. Not, but then they're the ones that sell first, so you can never say never. There you go. I'm going to leave it at that. It's, it's a... Uh, I'll leave it for you to dissect. <laughs> it looks like a big dissection has happened on there for sure. But, you know, what's uh, one's man trash is another one's treasure. So, help, help. Okay, you guys, thanks so much for joining me on this crazy, crazy ride. Trying that out. I will get on to what I know best and mix my paint now up with some pouring medium and I will try something else. So thanks for joining me. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. It's absolutely free and it helps me. Give me a thumbs up if you would kindly and leave a comment and let me know what you think. Um, and if you've got constructive criticism of how I can approve, improve or what I should have done to it, then I am all ears. So thank you so much. Bye for now. Just come back with me for a minute. I was about to scrape this canvas and I thought, well, before I scrape it, let's see what the good old balloon does. And it seems to be reacting quite nicely in this particular one. And because the paint is obviously not very thick, so it's kind of giving really nice balloon kisses. So there you go. I thought I'll just do it on the diagonal through there to give a little bit of a um, flower bouquet through it and it's coming quite nice so how about that <laughs> that just gives you the um, 
in, well, it shows you that you shouldn't give up on something, I suppose. And I'm not one for giving up, as you know. I'll just keep working with something and trying it until I can get something pretty. But that is actually a little ripper. That actually looks really effective. So, I wonder if Rinsk has ever done the... Oh, I'll have to ask, gorgeous lady. Um, I wonder if she's ever done the balloon. I mean, I know it's not everybody's thing, but you know how I love my balloon art. I just love it. So there you go, peeps. I just wanted to bring you back in. I like it. I'm going to leave that. Okay. Walk away from the canvas. Let's walk away. Well, there you go. I like it. I'll give you a uh, stay on for the end and I'll give you some shots of it. Finitoed. There you go. The blue knot turns out really well in it. Surprise, surprise. Thanks, guys.